I would say even 15 years. You know, yes, there's slightly faster computer chips and, and you know, et cetera, but it, it really hasn't moves. It's it's slowed way down. And same with phones. It was an explosion of features and all those other things you could do. And now the past few years, it's like, oh, look, it has two more megapixels in the camera right. and 30 more minutes of battery life. Ooh. It seems like things follow more of an S curve instead of just a forever exponential. And I would guess with AI, that's probably what will happen. There will be crazy innovation and all kinds of stuff, but I would guess that it will settle in for a time and then maybe get incrementally better and not move so fast. That makes sense. I just keep wondering, I mean, outside of the U.S., I don't know what's going on. I mean, I just read that China's way behind us in AI, but I don't know what really is going on in other countries. So if development here has is like an S, and maybe we managed to do some regulating, I just feel like who knows what is going to happen elsewhere, especially because I'm sure the militaries are going to adopt this and run with it. All of the militaries, including obviously our own. Mm. So I don't know. That is going to push the technology forward because there is a motivation to do it. Well, what what did you re you said you had to go back to your manuscript and revise it a lot. Yeah. So if you remember, what was like an initial early premise you had and then how did it change over time? You know, even a, a really narrow one. You did. Well, my protagonist, a woman named Sylvie, worked for a company uh, that, that sold application software, but it, it had some AI capabilities. But she really didn't know a whole lot about the market. And then she found out that one of the characters was developing something incredible that nobody knew about with the help of outside people that he knew and some inside people. And what he was developing, what I started with was having him developing something that could write, you know, write a novel. I, I mean, it's ridiculous. Today, today, you have software that can write Shakespeare, you can write, write anything. And so that was, I mean, that was my naivete. So that obviously wasn't going to work. And I, I had to change what he was working on. And then because a deep fake plays a role towards the end of the novel, it gives an object lesson in, in what can go wrong. At first, a deep fake was an exotic thing that hardly anybody knew how to do. Now it's, you know, you can buy it, the software at CVS. I'm exaggerating, but it was that kind of thing that, I mean, wait, wait, she's in the She's in the IT world. She can't possibly be that naive. She's got to be reading, you know, industry publications online and so forth. And that was the kind of thing. And the the story itself is not so much about AI. So you wouldn't think I would have to make changes. But, though, you know, once you have something that you write and it's no good, it's not working, it, it's a showstopper. You have to go back and figure out what, what the implications are before you can go forward. I don't know if that makes any sense to you, but... It, it was yeah. primarily it was primarily around the capabilities of because uh, I started writing before there was you know Chat GPT there were GPT four uh, okay. yeah. yeah and so that kind of changed everything. Well, I mean, yeah, like I've used Perplexity and Claude and Chat GPT and Google Gemini and you know, all this stuff. Yeah, it's tiring. At, at least at this stage, you know, if you want to know about something, you'll ask it a question and then you're like, well, what about this? So you ask it that. And what about this? And you ask it that. What about that? You know, I don't know if a lot of people, unless they have a real interest, would have the time and patience to serially ask a whole bunch of questions and try to get the answers they want from it. And I've always found with the Internet over my whole life, I've been on it for, again, like 30 plus, well, well over 30 years. Most of the world's information that I want is just not there. You know, you'll get maybe like the surface layer. And I think that's what will happen with AI. But I think probably 99% of people will just use it at a surface level, not to insult them or anything. But I just don't think that they're going to like go deep and investigate this, that, or the other. And that is a real danger because whoever puts a surface level answer, people are going to say, oh, well, the AI said it, so it must be true. I'm just going to go with that. Yes, you're and right. I think that's, that's one problem that's coming.